morning dear students hope you all are doing well today we are going to start with english grammar the next chapter the chapter number 8 the name of the chapter is antonyms and synonyms and it is on page number 27 so let us start the first part that is antonyms now what do you mean by antonyms antonyms are opposite words okay they can be completely different words or they may be formed by adding prefix such as an in ir il im dis miss etc okay so opposites are, are of different two types one is what completely different from uh, different words are there and sometimes we can form and terms by adding prefix okay so let us see first completely different words example courage cowardice knowledge ignorance and third is transparent opaque so these are what these are the different words completely different words okay now the second by additional by addition of prefix or changing of suffix see example hospitable inhospitable second is responsible irresponsible third is legal illegal so these are what the opposite words that is which is known as antonyms also okay i hope you have understood the first part let us see with the second part now that is synonyms now what do you mean by synonyms synonyms are words having the same or similar meaning now synonyms means what they are the words which is having the same or similar meaning example despise hate refugee shelter satisfied contented so these are what the similar meaning so that is known as what synonyms as you are going in higher standards now so the words are changed the words are changed for antonyms for opposite we can use the word antonyms and for similar meaning or same meaning we can use the word synonyms okay i hope you have understood about antonyms and synonyms we will see the exercise in next week thank you have a nice day